When we're wondering what to do, apocalypses come right through. The flames are high, the floods are too. From this world I thought I knew, this natural world that brought me you. Fire, flood, tsunamis, quaked, what a difference. Apocalypse makes. Apocalypse makes. Apocalypse we had a, a, a complex construction that we're not we're remembering all our good reasons right now as we speak. We had a complex construction that was about building an audience for a new idea, for a new, a new church, and that that might be happening. I mean, there, there is there's some evidence that it is happening. Are, are we all right, sweetie? Yeah, we have three minutes. We are, will be preaching and singing in two venues in the next hour or two at a uh, rad radical political gathering at a nightclub and a radical political gathering in the venerable Great Hall in Cooper Union where Abraham Lincoln started his presidential number. Amen. Good to see you. Amen. Hallelujah. There they are. <laughs> yeah, one song and a little sermon. Like a little we prayer. Could, but we don't have to learn his song. No, we said we weren't going to do that. So what about or, just a uh, uh, Justice Ghost? Yeah. Why don't you all get your stuff and then I'll wait for you outside. Out here? Yeah. Out near Cooper Square? Yeah. Amen. Can we come in there and preach a little bit? All right, you guys, let's go. Must be. A thousand times. Are we all here? Right on the first. Hope in my door. Give a shout from the porch. We're all Are we on time, more or less? Landlord, you stole my love and neighbor. Landlord, you stole even my strangers. Neighborhood, I live here. Please come back to me. Yeah. It's big money, like a flood now, up above the roof. Do I love where I live now enough to not move? Neighborhood, I live here. Please come back to me. Funky feet. Please come back.
Fontana around the corner, you know, the, the old 85 year old Sicilian guy was bowed over his shoe cobbling bench all those years. He was there, he was there 43 years, and now there's some sort of fake Hagen dazs That's just east of Tunis and west of Cairo, amen. Radical again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Amen. Amen. We even have to forgive the 28 year old stockbrokers that infest our neighborhoods. James. Can I have a, just a good red one that you would recommend first? That thing that fills my sinuses. Like when Jesus' blood just rises up. We just have to reach each other. And thank you to the people in Cairo and Bahrain and Yemen and Tunis and Madison and the Rotunda for bringing us together. Amen. Bless you. Let's just... Stand up now and just say, earth to your neighbor. Just everybody, just let's, let's loosen up here. That's, that's the seventh inning stretch, amen? earth -alleluia. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that wine, damn it. We just got one uh, group of people started with their evening of political entertainment and music and music and rousing rousing political moving sermons. <laughs> They're talking about coming back into public space. And Reclaiming, reclaiming our governments, reclaiming our institutions, and um, especially it's produced by an Iraqi American named Stefan Saeed and our friend from the radio and television, Laura Flanders was there, old friends, musicians, and now we're going to... Uh, Cooper Union, where a second set of wonderful activists are holding forth, and, and the basic theme here is, is anti-fracking.
promise you that we will stop damming and drilling, poisoning and fracking, burying, taking life out of you. Amen. Is it safe to drink? Unholy water. Baptize yourself with that and you don't go to heaven. <laughs> She's an activist icon. She's got this trailer and she's developed this important radio show inside this trailer. This is so New York. This is hot. Nice. <laughs> so let's just dive in. Amen. Dive in, as it were. Hallelujah. You've traveled to West Virginia to the mountaintop removal regions with coal extraction. Now we're talking about natural gas and that form of energy extraction. Of course, you've been taking on corporations all along and exposing all of you, taking action to the streets, to the stores, to the communities. That's what the Church of Earthly Food is mm -hmm. about, it's about getting back in, into community talking Amen. to people, touching people, coming together and feeling. It's just so moving. I've been brought to tears so many times through our interactions as a choir and just my, I just didn't know. Most of us don't see where our water comes from. I personally am from Ithaca, New York and as a choir I think it's really been meaningful for us through our performance and our activism to really start engaging with the people from the zones where fracking is taking place, mountaintop removal and experiencing what's going on there firsthand and talking to these people and seeing how it's affecting their lives and and just being human with them. When you don't have your own water, you end up more and more isolated, more and more powerless. And the corporations study us. They study that powerlessness. Having clean water and having access to it is a, a kind of power that we all have to have as citizens. By all means necessary, you know, till the end. And, 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 and speaking of all means necessary, Amen. you really That's do. That's a loaded phrase. That Praise is me. a loaded phrase. Yeah, I'm trouble. And <laughs> put yourself at risk. We, we had to expand and we had to stand for what it is, not just consumerism, but it's the whole panoramic picture. Chase Bank, a couple years ago when they were the top mountaintop removal financier, people in management positions they had no idea that they were blowing up mountains hmm. and that 2,000 miles of Appalachian streams were buried. They keep these crimes secret. Only certain executives and board members hmm. uh, really know about, uh, about what's going on. Everybody else is just 
just, you know, they're good people trying to be decent every day, make a living for their kids. Mm -hmm. The same issue is greed and power, and the rest of us are just serial code barred social security numbers to them. We're not even people. And to the mm -hmm. point where if you, if you have a problem just honoring another person's humanity, then how can you really respect and value something as basic as water? We're ready to start again? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're going to try this together? Yes. Somebody give me an earth hallelujah out here. Yeah. Start it up, piano. Let's go. Yeah. Amen. Oh, we're in the saints. Go marching in. Oh, when the saints Sabrina Artel come up on our stage. He's on stage. Uh, however, I'm, for a second. by the I'm time we get in there, Josh. it's going to be empty anyways. Saint Sabrina, huh? we think of you as uh, a kind of a kind of voice, a kind of conversation, a kind of welcoming personality mm -hmm. in your trailer with your radio show and your kitchen there and the brownies. And, and the community that you create around you as you go from town to town, down here into the city, then back upstate, the Catskills, then left, then right. We, we uh, are not just comparing you favorably to NPR, <laughs> which after all is so easy to do. Don't get me started. Why don't we, should, why don't we perform right here? Which in here? Yeah, let's perform, let's perform out. outside. We won't compete with uh, their sound. We can be right out there. We have too many people working in the morning. Yeah, so you guys are off we can sing. Out. We can sing out. Of, we can do yeah, one. Yeah. Should we sing there. a song outside? Okay. okay. <laughs> we we need to have your voice, and we will do. We yeah, we, we are committed. We are committed to uh, your protection and flourishing. We'll, we'll, we'll go anywhere. We'll raise money for you. Whatever you need from the Stop Shop and Gospel Choir, we're there for you. Amen. Well, we're not on for another half hour. We just have to go with people working in the morning and stuff. And there's nobody left. I think the Stop Fracking Gospel Choir is going to sing a song for you because we have to go home. We can't stay any longer. Some of us work in the morning, amen? Those of us who still have jobs, amen. What am I talking about? The Church has stopped shopping. Thank you so much. It is an honor for me to be here and to be lifted up by all of you and everyone in this room. So I ask you to join me and for your help as we speak truth and as we uh, move to protect our water. We're starting a church from scratch, our, our project. <laughs> it's called the Earth Alleluia Church. And the Earth Alleluia Church... It's kind of a, a brew of indigenous wisdom and uh, earth science, especially climatology. Well, there's something I've been thinking about. I heard this recently. It's that an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, right? So as we contemplate this and as you join me at this kitchen table, where we share what's important to us, what we care about, what we're willing to fight for and protect for, that we come up together with the Ten Commandments for water. But those of us who have children, the, the air and the water and the ground that we stand on is imperiled by human activity. And while we're doing this, I baked homemade brownies. <laughs> so, I baked homemade brownies to remind us of sweetness. And we're not being honest about that. Our politicians, they don't have what it takes anymore to raise their voice and say, there's an emergency here. We haven't heard peep from them since Copenhagen, which was a joke. We have the leaders of the biggest institutions, the religions, the, the corporations, the, the armies, the, 
they just don't think it's their job. One by one by one by one by one, they don't think it's their job to say something's going wrong on an unprecedented scale with this life, this living thing that we're a part of, this earth. Now the thing is about what we're facing with natural gas drilling in New York State and across the country and of course globally, I want you to imagine this. This Halliburton invented technique called hydrofracturing, fracking, right? This technique, now I just want you to think about this as we eat brownies together and as we come up with these 10 commandments for water, is that one horizontal fracked well, one, and the plan is for many, many thousands, right? Thousands of these wells, tens of thousands across New York State. One of these wells, does anyone have an idea of how much water is used to frack one of these wells? About three to five million per one well, one frack, okay? So that would be the equivalent of four eight ounce glasses per person resident in New York City. Okay, that's how much per one well. And one of, the, one, of the, one of the big institutions that really isn't talking to us as a town crier, as an earth crier, are the big environmentalist NGOs. They have their lobbyists, they have their policies, they have their legislative programs, they have their fundraisers, their cocktail parties. You don't really hear, you don't really hear them turning to us and say, it may be too late. We may have some time left. We're now sliding into the sixth great extinction wave that we know of. And this is the one where apparently the dominating species knew what was going on. So let's come up with these commandments. And let's make them happen. So I was thinking that thou shalt recognize that water is life, and without it, we have nothing. But thou shall not endanger thy neighbor's water. some way life on earth knows we're here and we're here because Halliburton Chesapeake they're big companies that are exploding chemical bombs inside shale deposits to get fossil fuel that we don't need or want it endangers the water the nutrition it endangers the ecosystems of this city, of Pennsylvania, of New York. At this point, it's championed. Even the big NGOs believe regulation instead of outright banning. Right. And we know that it's murder. Right. Fracking is murder. Right. Well, life on Earth tells us that. We will do what we can to do counterintuitive, crazy things to make it so clear that you can't treat the Earth that way. We ask for Earth life to be with us now as we walk away in our 360 degrees, all of us walking towards our beds. 
please be with us. Bless us. May we be as radical as the earth itself. Amen. Praise be.